Hi there and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will discuss how to use SiteJaker score tool, Site Audit. It helps you to run an advanced technical SEO analysis of any website. With it, you can scan websites for technical problems, identify on-page and off-page SEO issues, check for broken files and links, find weak or duplicated content and share reports with contractors or clients. How does Site Audit work? SiteJaker crawls your entire website and checks for over 100 potential issues. After the crawling is completed, you will see the detailed report with all the issues and how to fix guides that will help you to understand them and improve your SEO performance. There are three main sections – Summary, Issues and Page Details. The Summary is a starting screen on which you can see high-level stats about your website's issues and errors, quick info about the number of crawled and indexed pages along with your website score. From time to time we add a new checks to the tool and inform you about this on the Summary screen. All the issues are divided into four main sections. The criticals and warnings have an impact on your website score. Criticals – the issues that have direct and crucial influence on your SEO. The warnings – issues with a certain influence on your SEO, however, they have less value than criticals. The notices and opportunities do not influence your website score in SiteChecker app. Notices are rather recommendation. They can help you to improve user experience, optimize your website and format it accordingly to the general rules. Opportunities are meant to even better improve the website and smooth the look of your pages and user experience. Apart from that, we have also categories below that will help you to better understand and sort all the issues by their influence on the website. Along with that, there is a quick statistics with a percentage of the affected URLs by each category. Issue screen is your main screen for working and fixing the issues we have found. After you decide what issue you would like to fix, at first click on it and you will see all the pages affected by a specific issue or a filter. As an example, we will take the H1 has other tags inside filter. As soon as we are on a page with all the issues in the particular category, there will be a list of all the affected URLs, their status code and a small integration from our site monitoring tool. It will tell you when the issue was found. You can click on the View Issue in Code button to see where exactly the issue is located in the source code of the URL. This button may change its name depending on the type of issue. For example, if the issue is about having duplicates, it will have the name See Duplicates and show you where those duplicates are located. You can switch between issues by clicking on any of them in the sidebar. All of them are structured by priority and by category. If you feel like you need some help in understanding a particular issue, you can always refer to our How to Fix guides. There you will find a quick tutorial on each of them. By clicking on the three dots, you will be able to see the monitoring history of the issue, ignore the issue or export the list of URLs affected by it. We do understand that sometimes the issue we found might not be applicable to your particular website. Thus, in order to get rid of them, you can simply click on the ignore button and it will disappear from the site audit. You can always return it back at any time in the settings of the project in the site audit section. Along with site level report, we have a page details report. It can be accessed either directly from the list by clicking on the URL or, if you need to check the specific URL, you can access the full list of them from the site audit report and find the needed one. On a page details screen, you see an in-depth analysis of the specific page on your website. The checks will include all the technical SEO issues we have found on this page, general information about the URL, its content, images, displaying Google SERP, Google score for usability and speed on desktop and mobile versions. There are also three types of links you can audit for a specific page. Internal backlinks – all the links on your website that refer to a chosen page on your website, also called as anchors. Internal links – all links on the chosen page to other pages on your own website. External links – all the links on the chosen page to other pages on the different websites. We recommend checking your whole website with Site Audit and checking the most important pages with Page Details Report. Site Audit Report can be exported as a PDF, CSV files and as Google Sheets. Also, you can export a sitemap of all the pages we have crawled. It is even possible to brand your reports. Just go to Profile Settings and here upload the logo and change your PDF branding. All of the information we provide in the report is based on the scanned pages by our user agent, SiteChecker's bot. Thus, in order to get the best results, you will need to set up the bot in accordance with your personal needs. You can access the settings of Site Audit when you create a new project or you can edit the settings for existing one. The settings view can be accessed from the top of the page of Site Audit Summary or from the project list. 
By default, Site Checker bot will crawl your website respecting rules in the robot.txt file. But you can edit these rules and it will not change the settings of your actual robot.txt file, as it is just local rules for our bot. However, in order to start editing the rules, first you will need to verify the ownership of the website. The sitemaps section is pretty straightforward. Here you can set the bot for automatic detection of your sitemap or provide a link for a specific one. There is an option to set the limits for the number of URLs our bot will crawl on your website. The maximum number is 30,000 though. Also, you can set the number of parallel requests. It is the number of URLs the site checker scroller can request simultaneously. Just set it to a minimum if the website responds slowly or the crawling process leads to 5x6 server errors. Below, you can also find some really useful filters that can customize the crawling to match your personal needs. When the crawling process is finished, usually it can take up to 2 minutes. You can access a report and evaluate how many issues your website has and how critical these issues are. These were the basics of using Site Audit. When you fix the issues, just click the recrawl button so SiteChecker bot will recrawl your website again and you'll get a refreshed report. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at sitechecker.pro. See you in the next videos.